Welcome to Mr. Peacock and Friends. I wonder what Mr. Peacock will be doing today. Let's find out, but first I have to find him. Do you know where Mr. Peacock is? Mr. Peacock! Mr. Peacock! I'm here! There you are, Mr. Peacock. We're all wondering what you're going to be doing today. Today, I'm going to take you around and about. We're going around and about? Oh yeah, around and about, and around and about, and around and about. Around and about, and around and about, and around and about. Would you guys like to go around and about? I think they'll enjoy seeing this around about. Okay, let's go. <laughs> let's go around and about. Come on. Well, Mrs. Peacock, we found a cemetery in the middle of the road. They call it a roundabout. But I'm afraid of the roundabout. They don't stop. Well, I'm at the roundabout. I'm going to meet up with Mrs. Peacock. It is so dangerous. It's so hard to walk around it with all the traffic and that's going around the bout. Mrs. Peacock, I'm going to come see you. This is dangerous. The footing's dangerous. The cars are dangerous. And I really don't want to have to be buried here at my final Mr. Peacock and Friends hidden treasures here. This is very scary. There's so many cars, so much traffic. Of course, it's a roundabout, so they don't stop. So it's scary. Roundabouts are pretty much new to us. We're going to sort of walk around about this cemetery. And there's some nice people who are relatives of some of the people who have been um, uh, made this their final resting place. And they're putting up flags for the wonderful 4th of July. Yeah, it's going to look really nice, but I think it's scary. We had just learned that there are 19 graves here in this beautiful little cemetery. I wish we would have seen it sooner, but Mrs. Peacock, from what we see, there's some of these are from very old cemetery plots, and apparently there was a stagecoach um, that came by here back in the 1800s. Oh yeah, this is really old, and that's why it's located where it is. It's a family cemetery. At least they didn't move the cemetery when the roads came in, so. What happened was we had what we call urban sprawl. And, and, and right now, it's kind of scary here while we're talking because there's cars endlessly going around us. And maybe the scariest video we've produced ever yet to this day. <laughs> I think this is scary. But in any case, we're gonna go watch and look at the grave sites and pay our last respects to these wonderful people who were some of the people who created this part of the world. I will say one thing. If you have to be buried somewhere, isn't this a unique spot? I would say no one would ever forget you as they round about this cemetery. Absolutely, I think it's great. You should come see it if you get a chance. It's right off of Interstate 80 in Iowa, in the West Des Moines exit, Jordan Creek exit, and you just go south of there and you can't miss it. We're in West Des Moines, Iowa, in a very unique and special place. Tell us about it, Mrs. Peacock. That's right, we're at a cemetery. It's in the middle of the road. It's at a roundabout. And it's very scary here because the traffic is just going crazy. It's right by, off of Interstate 80, by a place called the Jordan Creek Road. Unfortunately, someone had an accident here last week and really destroyed some of the tombstones and the fence, so it's not looking the best. We're hoping soon it'll be repaired. And as you hear the cars go by, we're watching and hopefully that our camera doesn't get destroyed as they round about this roundabout. <laughs> this is absolutely crazy. The traffic just isn't stopping. It is crazy here. It is almost the most dangerous shoot that we've ever done on uh, Mr. Peacock and Friends Hidden Treasures. Wow, I think this hidden treasure is about over with. You know what? What? Let's find some other hidden treasures. This one's scary. I gotta leave here because I don't want to be buried here. <laughs> okay. See you later. Right. 
You've just seen the cemetery in a roundabout in West Des Moines, Iowa. That place was absolutely terrifying. The traffic was going around and around and around. It wasn't just one or two cars. They had five or six cars after another. After an I was absolutely terrified. I thought I was going to have to stay there. Yes, I didn't want to be buried there for a permanent resting place. In fact, the way it was going, it was pretty dangerous because apparently somebody had gone through the roundabout cemetery and kind of destroyed some of the cemetery uh, stones and that was very bad. Yeah, sometimes people forget it's a roundabout and end up driving straight through the cemetery and they just did that about a week or so ago before we did this. So the fences were still down and the headstones were broken. But it's a very interesting place, even though it's terrifying. <laughs> I never saw Mrs. Peacock be so terrified in any of the stories that we've ever done. It was so scary for her. Oh no, not again. Yeah, time's up, we've gotta go. But do we have to? But we gotta go, time's up. Okay, okay, if that's the case, I'll say, see you all later. That's right, next time on Mr. Peacock and Friends, we'll see what's happening on the Peacock Farm. Right, Mr. Peacock? Mr. Peacock is gone. He must be off on another adventure. So until next time, I'm Mr. Peacock and friends. I'll see you later. Mr. Peacock. Mr. Peacock. Mr. Peacock. Mr. Peacock.